No one can escape time. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears and cover your eyes. And so it begins. Persona 3 is the game that set the popular JRPG series on its current course, with Persona 3 Reloaded shortly approaching release. We'll take a look at the many versions of Persona 3, with a more focused look on the port that came out last year. Persona 3 Reloaded is about to come out, which is a full remake of Persona 3. But first, we need to touch base on what Persona 3 is, for those who don't know. Persona is a RPG series, which is a spin-off of another RPG series, Shin Megami Tensei. The series is probably best known now for its style and its unique blend of RPG combat and visual novel elements with a hint of time management. If you want a bit more information, check out my video on Persona 4. Links in the description and so on. As mentioned earlier, Persona 3 gave the series a lot of unique elements that led the series to become more popular than the series it span off from. With the introduction of social links, you hang out with people and it lets you make stronger Persona and gives you a few other things as well. Also they introduced the time management aspects and also the calendar as well. Persona 3 first released in 2006 in Japan on the PS2. Then there was Persona 3 Fez, which had some updates to the original game. Also added an epilogue called The Answer, which let's just say is not worth talking about. Persona 3 Fez released in 2007 in Japan. The next version was Persona 3 Portable, first releasing in 2009 on the PSP. Persona 3 Portable added a lot of new features, such as being able to control all of your party members. But the biggest thing they added was the ability to play as the male or female protagonist. Meaning playing as the female protagonist means you get a lot of new content taking this route in the game. But to fit a PS2 game onto the PSP meant there had to be some major compromises. Good news, combat and dungeon crawling are the same. But it's all the stuff outside of combat that got a serious downgrade. Instead of exploring the world in a 3D environment, you have to point and click your way around the world. No more 3D models outside of combat. So basically the game has now a standard visual novel presentation outside of dungeons. What this overall meant is that there was no definitive version of Persona 3. So when people want to try Persona 3, you'd have to discuss the pros and cons of each version. But as time passed, Persona 3 was locked on old consoles and generally became less accessible for a lot of people. At the same time, Persona was rapidly growing popularity, with Persona 5 really giving the series a big popularity boost. For a time, Persona 3 and its cast were only getting love in spin-offs like the fighting games, the dancing games, and also the Persona Q games. But yet, Atlas was not releasing their older games on modern platforms. This was until Persona 4 Golden got a PC port in 2020, and unsurprisingly to everyone but Atlas, the game did very well. This led to Persona 4 getting ported to modern consoles. But Persona 3 would also be getting a re-release, but which version would be getting the treatment? Well it would be Persona 3 Portable, which had some major downsides, but we'll get on to that later. Persona 3 Portable got ported onto modern platforms January 19th 2023. So let's take a deeper look at this version of the game. Let's start with the combat. The combat is better in portable, with the option to fully control your team. Which, might I add, is something that you can do in the later games. So it's a big help for people who started with those later games. There are also just a general lot of small tweaks and changes to the combat and the dungeons. Persona 3 has a lot of new content added to it with the biggest being able to play as the female protagonist. This was such a popular feature that has been constantly asked for by fans to return in future games. There are a lot of changes in the social links for the female protagonist, as well as a lot of other changes to the storyline. The major upside of this is having a male and female playable character just means the game is a lot more replayable.
1月13日午前0時掛け時間始まる「ペルソナ3」アトラス Side note, the footage from the female protagonist is from my live stream right here on YouTube. Check it out if you want. I'll be likely be streaming reloaded. But now back to whatever I was talking about. Now we get to the obvious problem with the game its visual presentation. The compromise it took to get Persona 3 on a handheld in 2009 was understandable. But playing this port on a big screen in 2023 doesn't look good. It looks like they tried to upscale the images, but Didn't do a great job. A lot of scenes lose their charm and tone in this presentation style. It's also worth considering a lot of these scenes were designed with the 3D visuals of the original game in mind, and not the flat, talking head visual novel style of Portable. Also, no anime cutscenes in this version, just JPEGs galore. I just. Put it in my head. Pull the trigger. No chickening out. This is where we look to the future. And Persona 3 reloaded. Which was announced about six months after the portable port. Which we can kind of see now why they didn't put much effort into the portable. It seems they just kind of released portable to get out before the remake. So, will Persona 3 reloaded be the definitive version of the game? From what I've seen, probably. Even if it's missing content like the answer. And you can't play as the Fimo Pro Tag. But only time will tell. With Persona 3 Portable, only going to be worth playing for those who want to play as the Fimo protagonist. But its presentation, especially compared to the remake, is going to put a lot of people off. Will you play Reloaded? What are your thoughts on Portable? Let me know, I guess. Well, what did do? Another video is kaput over. Finished. Yes. Also, like, comment, subscribe, all those things I, I say sometimes, and maybe we'll do it. If not, 
Mm. You'd like to see a recommended video, probably click live if you want to. I'll probably be stream reloaded as well at some point, so keep an eye on that on the channel. And that's it, I'm just gonna. I'll do. 